To enter a scoring summary for a football game, click on Team Schedule after logging in. Next, pick the game you want to enter stats for. In this example, it will be the Afton CBC game on August 17, 2012. Next, click on Results. Now you are ready to enter the first play in the scoring summary. Click on New Play in the upper right hand corner, then click on the team that had the first score. In this case, it is Afton. Pick the quarter that the scoring play occurred in, the first quarter in this example. Then indicate the time of the score by choosing the minutes, 10, and seconds, 0. Pick the play type, in this instance a kickoff return. Who was it returned by? Dakota Fisher. And the yardage in this case was 82 yards. Next, the extra point, and this was a kick that failed. Now you are ready to enter your next scoring play. To do this, click on Playlist in the upper left hand side of the page and then click New Play. Click on Afton again and again pick the quarter in which the scoring play occurred, also the first quarter. Then indicate the time of the score by picking the minutes 9 and the seconds 10. Choose the play type, in this case a field goal attempt returned. It was returned by Jonah Boyd for 78 yards. The extra point was again a kick that failed. To enter the next scoring play, click on Playlist in the upper left hand side of the page and then click New Play. This time click on CBC. This score was also in the first quarter, and the time of the score was 5 minutes and 5 seconds. The play this time was a punt return, and it was by Peter Back for 58 yards. The extra point in this instance was a run which failed. Now for the next scoring play, click on Playlist and then click New Play. Again the score was by CBC, this time in the second quarter at 0 minutes and 0 seconds. It was a receiving touchdown. The quarterback was Andrew Bertolucci and the receiver was Bert Birdsall. And again, it is very important that you have both a quarterback and a receiver on the scoring play if it is a rece receiving touchdown. The yardage in this instance was three yards. The extra point was a complete pass with Bertolucci as the quarterback and Tyler Kreth as the receiver. And again, very important that you have both the quarterback and the receiver names for that play. Now click on Playlist and new play to enter the next scoring play. The next score was by Afton. It was in the third quarter with two minutes and four seconds remaining. This was an interception return for a touchdown and it was by Daryl Carr of 52 yards. The extra point was a run which was good by Jonah Boyd. Now again click, click Playlist and New Play for the next score. This one was by CBC and it occurred in the fourth quarter with five minutes and 15 seconds remaining. The play type was a field goal and now this was by a new player who is not on your roster and so to do that, we're going to go in the upper right hand corner and click Add Player. And then in this instance, you would add the person's name. We're going to add a Mike Anderson with a jersey number of number one. And now that player has been created for any future scoring plays. Play was a field goal, and the kicker was Mike Anderson from 34 yards out. Now click on Playlist and New Play. If you notice in the scoring summary as you look at it, the field goal by Mike Anderson was incorrectly added to the first quarter. So we're going to go in and edit that. You do it by double clicking 
and then you go to the quarter and in this case it was the third quarter and now we will go back to playlist and you see that it is now correctly entered into the third quarter now for our final scoring play of this game we're going to click on new play and it was by CBC and it was in the fourth quarter and it came with four minutes and two seconds remaining it was a rushing touchdown and it was by Tyler Kreth of five yards the extra point was a run that failed now you click on playlist and you will see the final score of your game and in this instance it was CBC 23 Afton 20 you will now click on schedule at the top to return to your team schedule